Are you building a Shopify store or maybe you recently launched your online store but you and your customers cannot find your website anywhere online? Well, if this sounds like you, then it's time to dive into your Shopify store's SEO. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how you can optimize your store so that you can drive more organic website visitors that are searching for your brand or products on Google Search. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. Now before we go ahead and dive into this Shopify SEO tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that having note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into your Shopify stores SEO. Okay, so to optimize our Shopify stores SEO so that we can rank our website higher on search engines like Google search to ultimately drive more sales, we first need to log into Shopify. Now, if you're completely new to Shopify, maybe it's your first time creating a store or maybe you're yet to finish creating your store, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will help you get up and running with Shopify. Now, one of the main activities that we need to think about when it comes to SEO search engine optimization is keyword research. And this is all about identifying keywords or search terms that your audience is typing in on Google search and other search engines to find your brand, your business, your products and services. And what we wanna do with these targeted keywords is add them throughout our Shopify store. And there are two methods that I wanna talk about when it comes to effectively engaging in keyword research. The first is using a free tool called Ubersuggest. And to arrive at this website, simply head over to your browser and type in Uber Suggest, or feel free to click the link in the description below this video, and that's gonna take you here. Then what we wanna do is navigate over to the search bar and type in our first keyword that we want to rank our website for. Think of a product that you want to rank higher in search engines to drive more organic traffic. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna use an example Shopify store that sells Google Sheet templates. And one of the products or templates that we want to sell is a Google Sheets CRM. So I wanna engage in keyword research around the keyword Google Sheets CRM. Okay, so go ahead and type in a keyword here, then choose the appropriate language and country depending on the audience that you're targeting, then click on search. And if you currently do not have an account with Ubersuggest, you might need to create a free account. Then that's gonna take you to the overview of the keyword that you entered. If we navigate down to the keyword overview, you can see the organic search volume. This is how many searches there are for this keyword per month. You can see the SEO difficulty, and this is between zero and 100. And the closer to 100, the harder it is to rank for this keyword on Google search. And then we also have the paid difficulty. This is the same as SEO difficulty, however, with paid advertising. So how hard is it to rank your website pages for this keyword using paid ads? And then we have cost per click if you're advertising for this keyword. And this is on average how much it's going to cost if you're targeting this keyword using ads. So $22.42 per click. Now what we want to do is navigate down to keyword ideas and Uber Suggest is going to share some suggested keywords based on the keyword that you added. Now I can't find any relevant keywords down here. So what I'm going to do is navigate over to related. And here we have some good keyword ideas. We have Google Sheets CRM template and then Google Sheets CRM templates. Both these keywords have high search volume per month. And there are a few other keywords I might want to target like Google Sheets CRM template free if I offer a free Google Sheets CRM template. And for your Shopify store, ideally you want to have one primary keyword. For me, that is Google Sheets CRM. And then you want to add as many other relevant secondary keywords. So for me, secondary keywords would be Google Sheets CRM templates or template, as well as Google Sheets CRM template free. Then if I navigate down, we have some content ideas. So these are websites that have blog posts about Google Sheets CRM. And what we can do with the first result is navigate over to keywords and click here. And that's gonna generate a list of keywords that they are ranking for. As you can see, they've got these two keywords that we want to target, as well as CRM on Google Sheets, CRM template Google Sheets, and CRM Sheets. So these are other secondary keywords that I can use in my Shopify store. Then what we can do is navigate back over to Keyword Overview, and then navigate up here, and what we can do is add a different keyword that we want to use to engage in keyword research. For example, this time I could add Google Sheets Client Tracker, and then hit Search. 
And as you can see down here, if you're using the free version of Ubersuggest, you have free, free daily searches available. And as you can see, I've used all my searches. However, this is a great way that you can engage in keyword research for free. Now, my next option is using a premium tool called SEMrush. This is a all-in-one keyword research tool that we use nearly every day to engage in keyword research. To arrive at SEMrush, simply head over to your browser and type in SEMrush, or simply click on the link in the description below this video. Now, if you use my SEMrush link in the description below this video, that's gonna give you a 14 day free trial, meaning you can sign up, you can engage in keyword research, and within those 14 days you can cancel and not have to pay. So you can essentially engage in keyword research using this premium tool completely for free within the first 14 days. Now, once you've arrived inside SEMrush, all you wanna do is navigate over to Keyword Magic Tool and click here, and then type in your primary keyword. I'm gonna go ahead and type in Google Sheets CRM again, and then hit search. And what you can do is under broad match, you can select the keywords that you want to target. For example, I'm gonna navigate over here and click on this, and then come down and click on create a new empty list. And I'm gonna call this Google Sheets CRM keywords, and then click on the green tick. And as you can see, that's going to add this first keyword to our keyword list. Now here's another keyword I want to target, Google Sheets CRM template. We identified this keyword in Ubersuggest as well. And then we have CRM template Google Sheets, CRM Google Sheets, and then we have more options down here. Now what we can do is navigate over to related and we can see related keywords. Here's another one. And then down here we have another one, Google Sheets contact management. I want to target this keyword as a secondary keyword too. Now if we navigate back up to the top, you can see the search volume per month over here, as well as the keyword difficulty, how hard it is to rank for that keyword. And then cost per click, like we talked about in Ubersuggest. And then we have the user's intent, and this is all about why that user is typing in that keyword. For example, the user is typing in CRM with Google Sheets into Google Search, because this user wants to investigate brands or services. If I come down to this I down here, informational, the user is typing in this keyword because they want to find an answer to a specific question. Now, because this is not a keyword research tutorial, this is a Shopify SEO tutorial, we're not gonna dive deeper into keyword research. We've covered the basics to engaging in keyword research for free. And for those that want to learn more about getting the most out of SEMrush to engage in premium keyword research, then what I'll do is add a SEMrush tutorial down below in the description for you to check out. Okay, so now that you have your primary keyword for your Shopify store, and you have your secondary keywords that you've discovered through keyword research that you're gonna use for your product pages and other pages on your website, what we can do now is head back to our Shopify store. And with those keywords, the first thing that we wanna do is navigate over to online store, click here, and then come down and click on preferences. Then navigate over to homepage title. This is where you want to add your primary keyword. As you can see, my primary keyword is Google Sheets CRM, and I've got that in my homepage title. Then come down and make sure you add your primary keywords as well as some secondary keywords into the homepage meta description. Now the homepage title and homepage meta description is going to display in Google search and it's going to look something like this. Okay, so once you've optimized your title and meta description with your primary keyword and some secondary keywords, what we wanna do is navigate over to products over on the left-hand side. And this is where we want to spend the majority of our time because what we wanna do is optimize our product pages for SEO so that our product pages rank higher in Google search so that we can ultimately drive more organic sales. So go ahead and select a product. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you wanna learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. And when it comes to your product pages, there are five placements that we want to add our keywords in. And that's gonna allow us to optimize our product pages. The first place is the title. Then we also wanna add our keywords into the heading tags, as well as our content body. And then we want to add our keywords to the alt text in our images. 
And then finally, the URL. We want to add our secondary keywords into our URL. Okay, so let's quickly navigate through these five placements on this product page. Okay, so if we first look at the title, you can see we have some secondary keywords. We've got task management, we've also got all-in-one CRM, and then we've also got Sheetify CRM, which is the name of this product. So we've got our secondary keywords in the title. Then if we navigate down the page, we have our headers. We have a header here. And if I highlight this, you can see that that is a header too. So we wanna make sure that we have a secondary keyword in our header too. To do that, I'm going to navigate over here and add Google Sheets. Okay, so I have a keyword in my header two. So we have header one, which is the title, header two, which is in the body. And then if we navigate down, if you have any other headers, ideally you want to add your secondary or primary keywords in those headers. So if I highlight this, you can see that this is a heading three. I'm going to add a keyword in here. And as you can see, I've added Google Sheets CRM template. Now, when you're adding keywords, you wanna make sure that your content makes sense. You don't wanna just randomly add keywords. Google will pick this up and see it as spam. Again, I'm going to come down here and add feature-packed Google Sheets CRM. Then again, if it makes sense to add those secondary keywords into these other headers, make sure you go ahead and do that. Then what you wanna do is look at the rest of the content in your product description and make sure that the body of your content is optimized with those keywords that you've identified. For example, we've got Google Sheets CRM template over here. Then we have spreadsheet CRM, which is another secondary keyword. Again, Google Sheets template. Then I have other secondary keywords down here that I want to rank for. And then if I navigate down the page, we have other secondary keywords in our description. So again, take the time to add your secondary keywords and other relevant keywords into your product description. Once you've made those changes, click on save. Next, we want to navigate down to media. And if you click on your images, you can then navigate up to edit alt text and you can add your relevant secondary keywords to those images. I'm going to add Google Sheets CRM template and then hit save alt text. And again, what you wanna do is navigate through all your images and make sure that you have relevant secondary keywords added to the alt text. The keyword that I wanna add in here is Google Sheets email marketing and then save alt text. So what I'm going to do is quickly navigate through all these images and make sure that the alt text have been updated. Then once you've added your keywords to the alt text of your media, we can then navigate down to the bottom. Here we can edit the search engine listing. Go ahead and click on edit. And this is similar to the homepage title and meta description that we edited earlier under preferences. Again, make sure you have the keywords in your page title as well as meta description and make sure that you're under the character limit, which is 320 characters. And this is where you want to modify your URL handle before you go live. Again, this is going to be the title of your product page, but you can modify this slightly to add your keywords. And as you can see, I'm happy with that URL handle. I'm using the main keyword that I wanna rank this product page for on Google search, Google Sheets CRM template. Again, once you've made any changes, go ahead and click on save. And just like that, you've optimized a product page. What you wanna do is navigate through all your product pages and make sure you've optimized your product pages with the keywords that you identified that you wanna rank for. And that is how you can optimize your product pages. What you wanna do now is navigate through all your different product pages and make sure that you add the relevant secondary keywords and primary keywords in the five placements that I covered for your product pages. Okay, so what else can we do to optimize our Shopify stores SEO? First, we wanna navigate over to collections over on the left-hand side, and this is where you want to optimize your collections with the keywords that you researched. Again, make sure that you have your targeted keywords in your title and description, and these keywords need to be relevant to your collections. And make sure that you've added the main keyword to this collection in the image alt text. Simply click on the image and then add your keyword then click save. Next, we wanna navigate over to online store and then click on pages. Then select a page that you want to optimize, then simply add your page title and description with the keywords that are relevant to that page. And you wanna do that with all your pages. You can then come down to edit website SEO. And again, just like I showed you, you want to optimize the page title and meta description, as well as the URL and handle down here, like I showed you in the product page. So go ahead and take the time to do that, just like I showed you when optimizing the product page. Then navigate over to blog posts. 
Now, if you're serious about SEO, it's important to create new content on a consistent basis. Google likes to see new content being added to your website and each of your blog posts are going to target specific secondary keywords. For example, I could create a blog post about how to create a Google Sheets CRM, or I could create a blog post talking about the top five Google Sheets CRM templates. Essentially, what you're doing is creating content that is relevant to your brand, relevant to your products, that's going to help you get discovered organically online. Ideally, to grow your brand organically online through SEO, you want to create at least two to four blog posts each month. And remember, SEO, search engine optimization, takes time and consistency. Now, if you want to dive deeper into ranking your website organically for keywords, then it's important to learn more about the Google Search Console. If you currently do not have the Google Search Console connected to your Shopify store, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial down below, which will help you connect your Shopify store with the Google Search Console. Essentially, what this platform does is it's a free tool by Google that allows you to measure your organic performance on Google Search. You can identify keywords that you're ranking well for. You can also discover new keywords that you want to start ranking for and more. Again, I have another Google Search Console tutorial, which will dive into strategies around SEO. So feel free to check out those two tutorials down below in the description. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this Shopify SEO tutorial for beginners. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Shopify SEO tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about this video, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.